you can take this back to your original calculations and make sure that you did not skip any of your templates. So this tells me that it's a number three template and I'm expecting to get 14 inches at the end of it. Um, this part of tutorial will concentrate on discussing what you should be using as a material to put your flowers on. The best thing to use is the insulation dividing up your large project delicate. For example, this particular center right here, I did not have this flower stack. It just sat by itself. Same thing with this center. It's very fluffy, it's very flat. If you were to put something, anything on the top of it, it would absolutely squish it. However, when you have centers such as this, it's very sturdy, it's not going to crumble, it can definitely hold the weight of the flower on the top of it. Don't do more than maybe like five or six because you might want to rearrange flowers around. And if you glue them on right away, this will absolutely hinder your ability to um, you know, move things around. And as you start trying to pull the flower off the board, it will damage the board because while it provides a pretty decent support, it's not made out of the sturdy material, it will crumble. Do not just start, you know, um, glue flower. Do not glue it on until you're really ready and if this is what you really um, must do. Uh, but uh, otherwise, you know, the pins are the best way, you know, get something that like blends in with the color and um, I'm not tucking them in too much right now. The reason to that is I, this is my first point on my table. Let me demonstrate to you that none of the petals have been damaged by having all this weight on the top of each other. I'm putting it in a large gar uh, garbage bag. And the beauty, you can see some of the flowers that I already glued the center pieces on, like this ones. They have sturdy, if, and it holds despite how light. And I just want to show you that it's keeping very sturdy. And 